Hello everyone and welcome back to .NET Core Central. Today we are taking refactoring to the next level. I'm going to show how we can use ChatGPT not only to tidy up our code but also to apply modern C-sharp techniques like pattern matching, switch expression, and advanced link. If we are working on a legacy code or a complex code, this video is going to be helpful. So let's dive in. The key point for this particular code is going to be improving readability, maintainability, and performance. So the refactoring is not just about making your code look pretty. It's about reducing complexity, adhering to design principles like solid, and ensuring your code remains scalable as your project grows. Advanced refactoring can eliminate nested conditions, remove duplicate logic, and express the intent of a code more clearly. So today we are going to mainly work on two such example and how ChatGPT help us guide through that process. So first example we are going to talking about order processor. And this is an example that many of us have encountered. A method that calculates shipping cost based on multiple criteria. And here is the original code with deeply nested if statement. So it is taking the order object and then it's checking if order is not equal to null, if it is international and, and weight is greater than 10, then implement this logic, otherwise this logic. Else, meaning it is not international, then again it is a weight-based condition else it has a condition and the order has only two properties right now so if we have to we can we can try to do this let's add this one and now if we run this we should see the order being calculated and since it is international and the weight is 15 is going to follow this condition and it's going to do 15 into 2.5 and we can see the response is 37.5 as expected now let's go and try to refactor this code so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just take this code Just going to take this whole code and I'm going to say refactor this code and let's see what it comes up with. And you can see it has come up with one version where it is using. Or like ternary operator to solve this problem but let me ask it use wing and for this one I'll say use return match instead and now it is doing but not as much as I would want because I want all the condition to be pattern match. I'm going to add the reasoning here but for that I'll have to log in. Okay. Now I'm going to use this again. I'm going to say we factor this C sharp code make it able using modern practices and I'm going to paste this and let's see so it's going to use the reasoning model here because I have the reasoning on 
And then now you can see here, it made it very simple. Fast is checking the order null check. And then it is using pattern match. So it is using the order international and order weight, those two only. So it is even, it's not just using order, it's using exactly what is needed in the switch case. And based on the condition, it is returning the value. And it kept the order model as is. And it is also explaining here what it is using. It is using the guard clause for null, fast one. And then it is using a switch expression with tuple pattern matching. It's creating this tuple out of the two attribute. And this refactor reduces the nesting and makes it immediately clear which condition leads which shopping cost calculation. So just copy this, go back to the code, paste it, and now it's just 27 lines of code. And if we run, we'll see the exact same response as before, which is 37.5, as you can see. Notice how the refactored version uses the property pattern match. Now, this refactored pattern match version not only eliminates nested if, but also it clearly expresses the intent for each condition in a single concise line. Now let's look into another scenario where we are going to remove duplicates. So here we have something called discount calculator, which calculates discount. So it has again for each product. If it is electronics, then total discount is this. If it is clothing, if it is book, else do this. Let me copy this code and go back to ChatGPT. And this time I'm going to ask it, refactor this code to remove duplicate logic and improve clarity using link and a dictionary lookup for discount rates. Now here one thing you can see that the prompt engineering is becoming extremely helpful. So I would suggest everyone to look up on prompt engineering. What are the different methodologies? I'm going to create a video on some of the best practices of prompt engineering, because I think that will be the future of programming is a lot of prompt engineering. So I copied and pasted the code. Now let's execute it. And let's see what reasoning it gives. And as you can see with reasoning with the latest model, it thinks like a developer and then comes up with the solution. So here you can see it changed this into a dictionary of what are the keys are the items and value. And then it just uses a product.sum extract the value and just calculates. Now, if I go back and get rid of this code and say, our discount calculator, create a few product, get rid of that. And then just print out this, this one, and just use new, because I'm already doing a product type mentioning here, so I don't have to give product, new of product again. I can run this application, and it's coming up with total discount of this. Now let's go back to the implementation, copy the code from ChatGPT, and paste that, that thing back here. And now you can see the code is 
much more readable and extendable. In future, we don't have to write another if-else condition. We just have to keep adding new categories into our dictionary and the code here will just work. So uh, earlier we had to create a new f-else condition for every scenario. So now if we create another category, it's a furniture and go back here and add furniture 200. There is no change in code and our response changes based on the new category. So this refactor using dictionary to map the discount rates and links some method to compute the total discount in one go drastically reduces the code repetition and makes it easier to update rates in future as I have just shown. So some of the best practices that I wanted to share for the chat GPT refactoring. Last one is be specific. Clearly state your goal. As for example, use switch expression to eliminate duplication. Iterate. Ask follow-up question if the first session is not the best one. Review thoroughly. Always test refactor code to ensure behavior remains consistent. And learn from the suggestion. Use the explanations to understand the modern code practices. And this is a great learning opportunity. And I personally feel that the newer versions of ChatGPT and things like GitHub Copilot are going to be the future of educator for programming. Now, to wrap up, we explored how we can refactor complex c -sharp code into more modern maintainable versions from converting nested condition into elegant switch case expression like here or to eliminate logic and make it extendable like this one and the benefits are clear if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel and you think you are going to get value out of this channel please subscribe to the channel and thanks so much for watching this video